And now I'd like to introduce our student board member, Diego, and he can help us with his last name and properly pronounce it for us. And uh, Diego is from Poly. So Diego, this is your opportunity uh, to give us a report. Sure, thank you so much. Um, good evening, Superintendent Dr. Baker, board members, LBC staff, and all of our LBC families out there. Um, thank you for having me. This is truly an honor. My name is Diego Kagurabadza. I'm a senior at Long Beach Valley High School, and I'm here to represent our ASB as student body president. So we began the school year with a series of successful in-person registration events. Our ASB distributed schedules, textbooks, technology to all grade levels in a COVID safe and socially distanced manner. Our Dean of Students, Mr. Shock, even managed to hold a brief student expectations assembly in our staff parking lot, which is aerated. And despite the virtual setting, we continue to provide our students with opportunities to serve the community. Through the fall, our Commissioner of Community Outreach, Rianne Ignacio, who now serves as my ASB secretary, organized our annual Thanksgiving food drive from home. With over 60 clubs participating, we received more than 1,000 canned goods from our students, which were promptly donated to the Long Beach Rescue Mission. This was actually 300 more cans than we collected last year in an in-person semester. So obviously our Jackrabbits are always prepared to provide support in the community. More recently, our international ambassadors of which I also serve has organized a clothing drive to provide inventory for our rabbit hole. In a more traditional school year, the rabbit hole is an on-campus resource center for students to receive school supplies, um, hygiene products and the like at no cost to the student. Our group has coordinated an effort to reach students with financial needs and will soon be able to distribute all requested items. And we've received donations from all over the community, including clubs, teachers, and especially our alumni. And in a year filled with social advocacy and awareness, our student leaders have taken to social media to celebrate National Heritage Months and promote student mental health. More and more, we've realized that our students don't just learn from their teachers, but from their friends, their communities, and their lived experiences. Before winter break, our six-time Grammy award-winning music department, led by Mr. Doko, Mr. Scipio, and Mr. Stevens, produced a holiday music album titled Happy Poly Days. <laughs> the 20-track album features our choir, our jazz band, and orchestra, as well as other several other poly music alumni. This is our first if not the district's first music album produced entirely by a high school organization. If you'd like to show support, you can find the album on all major streaming networks or platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. Our student commission led by our activities director, Mr. Puth, continues to meet every other day via Zoom where we organize virtual spirit weeks, club activities and other fundraisers. Of course, Poly wouldn't be Poly without its athletics department, and one of ASB's most recent projects, led by our Commissioner of Photography, Ryan Chalmers, celebrates the achievements and tenacity of our student athletes. The videos, titled Stuck in the Rabbit Hole, interview coaches and players at their in-person practices to recognize their perseverance. The first video featuring our girls swim and dive team is available on the Poly Instagram page for those who are curious. Our athletics are preparing for what will be an unusual start to the season, but we are nonetheless grateful to return. Speaking for all the Jackrab Jackrabbits, I think we're most looking forward to our first football game, which is next week at Cabrillo. Again, thank you all so much for this opportunity to report on the activities at Poly. I'm sure many of you are surprised that we've managed to do so much in a virtual school year, but that's just what Jackrabbits do. As our alum, Billie Jean King once said, champions adjust, and we certainly have. Thank you. Wow, uh, that was a fabulous report and you are correct. Um, I am one of the surprised, happily surprised people to hear about all that's going on virtually and everything you've managed to do without even you know being in person and helping your community that's very heartwarming and touching. Now, we kind of have an idea of what your plans are for next year because you've been featured um, in, in one of our videos. But just to remind everybody what your plans are, would you like to share that now? Of course. Um, well, nothing is final, but 
so far I've been accepted to Stanford University, um, UC Santa Cruz, Sacramento State, and Cal State Long Beach. Excellent. Um, what would be your dream school out of that list? I think I'd have to say Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, good luck to you in the future. Thank you so much for being with us. We understand you may be busy and you might not be able to spend the evening with us. You're welcome to stay, but we do understand if you need to go. So thank you, Diego. Of course, thank you. Um, I think, did someone have a question for me maybe? Oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, Mr. Miller. Hey, Diego, I just wanted to congratulate you, uh, give you a little bit of context on uh, how your name first came up to me. So as I'm getting more ingratiated with the schools in my district, I interviewed a number of principals. Uh, the very first principal that I interviewed was who I call Coach Salas because he was my high school football coach and he's actually your principal over there at Poly. And as I'm going through my interview questions with him, uh, he was telling me about uh, his local ASB and this star student he had, in <laughs> Diego. And so uh, it's pretty exciting to uh, get to talk to you, man, and just wanted to congratulate you and tell you to keep up the good work. Thank you so much. It, it really means a lot. Um, ASB has definitely been the most significant thing in my high school career. So I'm really glad for the opportunity to be here. Well, and, and Diego, I, I, this is Doug Otto. Um, uh, reach out to me uh, through the, the office and I'd love to talk to you. I am a Stanford alumni and uh, it was a while ago. I think it's a little different now, but, uh, but uh, I was there very recently for, for some things that I had to do and I'd, be loved, I'd love to share my thoughts and like to hear more about you if you've got a chance. So thanks. Of course, thank you so much for the opportunity. Sure.